Today we're going to explore Copilot for Finance, a brand new feature that is available in Microsoft Excel and is supposed to help you with the recurring task of counting and tasks in finance. I even dressed myself to be a little bit more in the theme as a finance corporate guy and normally I swear I'm not wearing this but I just wanted to be crazy as usual. Welcome to my channel, I'm Dave, I'm a CPA and let's dive deep into it. I'm on the website here of Microsoft Copilot for Finance and this is preview this is very important every microsoft feature that are in preview mode means that they are only in english and they are of course not really in production mode so aka if there are mistakes microsoft are not responsible if you click on the sign up for the preview here and you have a microsoft 365 business account you can actually try the product itself Let's have a really quick overview of the product. Microsoft say Copilot for finance. Microsoft are advertising that you can actually import financial data to your spreadsheet based on your ERP or other Microsoft 365 apps. Then you can reconcile data, you know, like this bank statement reconciliation that you hate to do. Well, Microsoft are advertising that you can actually do the reconciliation with their tool and then you can analyze variances and let's hope that you can fire this FBNA analyst that you hired because he cost way too much for the job he's doing. So far on the second page, Copilot are just advertising that you can actually automate a reconciliation of data. So they say they review the transactions across system for anomalies, risk and unmatched data. Save and reuse customizable templates for insight that scales. How I see this could be used is actually if you have actually double entry, you know, you send a bill twice to your client or you pay twice the same invoice. I'm thinking that's the kind of thing that Copilot could easily detect and that you could actually save money with. So you have an example on the right here. You have a vendor invoice list. You have a reconciliation report summary and Copilot tells us done i reconciled your data successfully and added to a new spreadsheet here is a report summary and it gives us the date the number of invoice how many invoice didn't match and actually the invoice number that doesn't match actually it is in one report it created a vendor invoice list here and not in the customer invoice report here or vice versa after that, Copilot for Finance is supposed to streamline your variance analysis. So they say save time with accurate commentary, reports and insight sourced from various data records. We have a cash flow forecast on the right here, the one that we love, right? And we have to define a criteria to Copilot to analyze our variance. We say define criteria for Copilot to identify and analyze variances. So we ask Copilot in this specific case, February forecast varies from actuals more than 10%. And then you upload your forecast file. I'm not too sure what it is here. You can attach a file and then it's supposed to give you some results. We don't have much data yet on Microsoft Copilot in finance, but so far it sounds cool. I'm not too sure in practice though. All right, so we are done with our variance analysis or our bank or AR or AP rec. And then we want to share the insight with everyone at the office. Yay, we have so much money. Yay, we are below budget. Some, some kind of stuff like that, right? So we can share new insight. They say turn data into presentation ready visuals and reports to share in Outlook and Microsoft Teams. Again, all we have here is a little image to the right that we have a message from Kristen and she says urgent review required and then there is a email summary that is suggested we have a payment timing issue with Fabricam. We have suggestion to investigate the payment schedule. We have a bar chart. We actually have a combo chart here. If you don't know how to do combo chart, look at this video at the top here. Cut the cost across critical processes. So they say reduce spending and regain valuable time by using Copilot to transform manual tasks into more streamlined and efficient experience. But there 
all they gave us is like empower your collection team, access a complete summary of customer balance. We have to save time on communication, of course, so we can basically join invoices pretty easily with all the details in the invoice without actually opening the PDF. And we have that simplified task bullet point here, which is basically the same thing that we just saw. So to get the financial data from an ERP or whatever, or just import the data to your spreadsheet, then reconcile the data, then analyze the variances. They tell us that Copilot can boost productivity in the workflow so you can access your data, as I said, including your ERP and uh, some pre-built connector using Microsoft Copilot Studio. All right, I'm done with my tie. Go have a look at my Copilot videos because they're so much better than this one, which I didn't have access to Copilot and Finance, but still wanted to give you the news.